I, I suppose the analysis of it was, I looked at it and I thought, here I am, and I'm 50 odd years of age, or, you know, uh, at the time, I was like, whatever it was, you know, um, 40, 40, 45, 40, 44. And having woken up and having been treated civilly by wonderful people and having achieved an enormous amount of love in my life, you know what I mean, and respect in my life, uh, and a lot of self-care, I began to realise that I had been given an enormous amount of choices, a huge amount of choices now and that the playing field was wide open and I was wide awake and I was the owner of my own story and the stakeholder of my own story and I could move fairly freely. And what I realised was, I realised that all the things that I couldn't do and all the things that I didn't do and all the things that I threw away, I had been given the gift of recovery. And recovery, I used to think, was convalescent. But recovery is about recovery. It's about, I lost my pen, I get it back, I have my pen. So I'd recovered everything. And here I was with a, a recovery, full recovery. And what I decided, I, I, I thought, what I'd love to do is what I couldn't do in my 20s. So I decided I wanted to do all these things. So I created Far Cry Productions and made Far Cry Productions a company. I dealt with the arts councils and dealt with all the bureauc bureaucracy. And then I began to create the work in a visual art sense, in a sense on the street. When we put up the work in Leeson Street, we had officials from the state coming along, saluting it, thinking they'd put it up. They thought the state had put this up um, because it was so kind of almost state-like. When we were saying, yes, it is state-like because we want the state to take responsibility for it. So the flexibility and the movement and being able to move. Yeah. My philosophy was, you know, remember one day on stage, an actor coming to me and saying, oh, Jesus Christ, it's the opening night and I don't know my lines. And he was totally in bits. And I said, well, I've got news for you. Neither do the audience. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know the meter. So Far Cry Productions grew out of a kind of, um, <laughs> it grew out of a, 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 a new journey, a new approach. And I felt this much. If I had gone to such lengths for 20 odd years for alcohol and for mayhem and all that energy, you know, which, well, what was I going to do when that was turned around into a very positive way? How was that going to manifest itself? So Far Cry Productions was kind of born out of that, and it became a kind of vehicle for the possibility of where you could act, where you could perform, um, and, 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 and what you could do.